Hi guys, and welcome back. Now I got a really good question the other day on the website. A player was asking me, you know, I get over top of the golf ball and I have a really tough time. We've probably seen this a lot. Think back to Sergio Garcia a few years ago and he just kept waggling and waggling the golf club and it looks like he had a hundred waggles and he just never could pull the trigger. That's when you know you're in some, you're in some deep stuff. You know it's not gonna be a good day on the golf course when you have a tough time pulling the trigger. Well, it really comes down to breaking that habit and being able to commit to a shot no matter what. No matter what's going on, being able to 100% commit to that. And once you step out of your zone and move into the shot, you're committed unless something completely takes you out of that and then you're gonna come back to your zone again. So let me describe what I mean. I've found this shot in front of me. I got a six iron here and I'm visualizing the kind of shot that I want to have. So I walk up, I've picked the yardage, I've picked my club, and I'm going to step a good six or eight feet behind this. And you may have seen this before people do this, or you may have even heard somebody describe this a little bit, but I'm going to walk you through the real thought process with this. So I've picked my club, I've picked the type of shot that I want to hit, high, low, whether it's a draw or a fade, I've really visualized that. And now once I'm committed, I'm going to be back here kind of looking down the target line. So now you're going to see me, what I'm doing is I'm watching this shot like it's a movie in my head and I'm kind of visualizing what that's gonna feel like. Now, if I'm gonna take any practice swings, I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of them the same way back here. And, and when I'm taking these practice swings, this isn't just to get loose. This is to feel that visualization in my head and to feel what type of swing I'm gonna to need to make to have that actually happen as I make the golf swing. So I'm not just going back here getting loose. I'm actually swinging with a purpose at this time. Once I've done that, I see the shot, I feel it, I can hear it. I can see everything about it, it's in very clear detail. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into my pre-shot routine and, and every time you step forward, this is, needs to be exactly the same every single time and this is how you break that habit of getting stuck over top of the golf ball. So I've, I'm committed back here. As I start to step forward, I'm gonna take a certain amount of steps roughly into the golf ball. I'm gonna walk you through my process. You can use whatever process you want to as long as it's the same every time. I always start by putting my right foot in I'm gonna put my club to the ball with my right hand. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and step in with my left foot. I'm gripping with my, my left hand. Now from here, I have a few little waggles that I kind of go up and down and I adjust my feet. I'm looking back and forth exactly three times. So again, let's go through there. I've done my right hand, I looked up once. I did my left hand, I looked back down. As I'm waggling, I look up again. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with my aim. I look down, I look up again for the third time, and now as soon as I look down, I'm gonna go ahead and swing. There we go, right to the target. But I gotta make sure that I don't mix up that pattern. So it's all a process. I'm back here, I'm visualizing my shot. I've made my practice swings. I can feel exactly how I wanna feel over top of the golf ball. And then from here, it's exactly the same every single time. Right foot in, hand on the, behind the club, left foot comes down, second look at the target during my waggles i'm back to the golf ball third look and then from there i'm going to swing it's going to happen the same way every single time so if you get stuck over top of the golf ball you have to make yourself pull the trigger get a big bucket of golf balls get about two or three hundred golf balls go through that pattern over and over and over again while you're at the driving range then you're going to be able to take it directly to the course it'll be really easy what a lot of times i see people do is they're hitting balls on the driving range just rapid fire one after another. And then we get out to the course, we find ourselves with a real shot and now we're kind of fumbling around, taking a swing, taking another swing, stepping in, stepping back. We're all over the place because we haven't really ingrained that process. So go to the range. If you're struggling with that, ingrain the process, same thing every time. Visualize behind it. As soon as you step forward, you're in automatic mode. You're gonna make it happen no matter what and you'll break that habit pretty daggone quick. Good luck to you guys. Work hard, I'll see you soon. Hi guys, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. If you did, I got a great bonus for you. I'm gonna play a preview from one of my number one lag videos. Are you struggling to get a lot of lag in the downswing? We know how important that is. We gotta get lag, we gotta release that lag to really let that club whip through contact. I'm gonna play a preview from one of the best lag drills out there that I have. I'm gonna show you how players like Roy McIlroy, Tiger Woods, Adam Scott all use this in their own swing. It's gonna help you to hit it a lot farther, pick up some great speed. If you wanna watch that video, go ahead and click the link that pops up in your screen. If you're on a mobile device, a phone, a tablet, go ahead and click the iCard, which is going to allow you to get instant access to that. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below. Click that thumbs up button. That really helps us out. 
and be sure to subscribe that way you'll see our latest videos. Good luck and I'll see you in the lag video. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard and in today's video we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see and in this drill what we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag and then we're going to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you, can, that you can do to build lag. I'm gonna talk about the science behind why this is the case, and I'm also gonna give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get if started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we wanna do is throughout the swing, I wanna have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not gonna set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, look at Tiger Woods, all these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only gonna max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be. I want to use the full length of this club to build lag and then release. 